This video is going to look at the difficult parts of completing app 04. You can see um, I've added all the features to the list of, of choices here and there are there's a problem about the adding a comment, liking posts and removing posts. So I'd like to give you some help towards that. So what I've done is, if we run this and just show you what state we're in. So now you can see the full menu list is there. And when we display the choices, there are two posts I've added just to get us started. You might need to add more for testing purposes like that. But obviously you also need to be able to add post new messages new message posts or new image posts and that should be fairly straightforward because you just enter a name you enter a message and then if you list them again You can see I have now got three posts and the third post is newly added five seconds ago whereas the other were added when the application started. You'll see if you list them again the, 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 sec, the time has gone up so it calculates elapsed time since creation. Okay but the problem is if we want to remove a post, how on earth do we identify it? And I can only, we can't identify it by the message because they don't all have messages. We can't identify by the author because the author's got many posts. So I think you've got to add a post ID, which you see I've already done. So the question is, how do we automatically generate a post ID? So what I suggest you can do, and there are other ways of doing this, is to have a public post ID which you can get but not change and you also have a static int called instances which counts how many instances are there have been created of the post class and that includes the message post class and the photo post class because anything in the post class is inherited by the other two classes. So when the base constructor is called, the number of instances is increased. And we use that number as an ID. So for the fourth instance, if I generate a fourth, create a fourth instance, instance will be four, the post ID will be four. And that way we can now think about the problem of, say, removing an ID. Before I do that though, let me show you the ad just briefly. Here's where we add or, or post an image and you simply have got to get the author's name, get the reader, ask for the file name, ask for the caption, create a new post with the three of them and add that photo post to the news class and then post some kind of method message to say that this new message image post has been added and do the similar thing with the message post so those are fairly straightforward okay what's not so straightforward is oh there's the input name that's been factored out because it's needed by the other two methods for adding a, a message post and adding a photo post so it's the remove post that's where the problem starts so I'm outputting, I put a new output title into the console helper and here's where I'm using the input number there to get the ID of the post we want to remove. So it prompts enter the post ID. It has to be a number between one and however many posts there are, which I put a, a method called get number of posts from the post class which returns the number of instances 
and then the rest of it should be done by the news class, this remove post, passing the ID. So if we look in the news post, key thing is we need to find a post with that ID. That's the first problem. And that's relatively easy because all we need to do is go through each of the posts and check the ID and return the post where the IDs are equal. If not, return null. So in the remove post, we call on find post. If it doesn't find a post, a message that doesn't exist is printed, else we say that the post has been removed. And we can call on the list class to remove the post, and the post can be displayed. So let me just demonstrate that. Going to remove post two. Okay, so post two has been removed. If I display all now, mm -hmm. you can see I've only got the first post now. So you'll need to use this find post method for your adding of comments to a post and adding of likes or dislikes to a post. You'll also need to print out the comments because they aren't printed. Uh, by the posts display method. If you look at that, you can see it just says click here to view. Well, that's a bit of a cop out. We need all the comments listed there, please. <laughs>